Okay, it's on now. You're good. There we go. And it only has to be with, for him. Yeah. Anybody else? Nobody. Cool? Okay. So you're out there and they go, well, what's your name, man? And I go, Michael. And they go, hey, Mike. We had a friend named Shaheem. You know, a beautiful name, Shaheem. And they call him Sam. How do you shorten Shaheem to Sam? When they're paying you a dollar, they can call you whatever they want, right? When they're paying you, you're on the clock. you theirs. This is called your beauty, and it's about you guys. Your beauty is so great, it defies words on a piece of paper. A pen cannot capture what my eyes have seen. Clap. Yeah. yeah! Come on, the camera's on. I gotta look good for the camera. This is for Martha. This is called When Women Scream. She says that she trembles when men scream, and I think I tremble when women scream. <laughs> screamed at me earlier. She was right. But when I was a kid, my mom never screamed. My dad did all the yelling. Because he was making the paycheck. You know? It's he, a new day, bro. He was the man. <laughs> he was the man of the family. This is called If I'm Such a Great Poet. If I'm such a great poet, if I'm such a great poet, why are people talking while I'm doing this? I mean, if I was a good poet, they wouldn't be talking, right? It shut up and listen. If I'm such a great poet, if I'm such a great poet, why do I feel so lonely right now? Why do I feel so lonely right now? Why will I go to sleep alone tonight, missing the smell of her hair and the way she wraps her leg around mine before we go to sleep? If I'm such a great poet, if I'm such a great poet, why am I so lonely right now? A woman I can't put down, a woman who 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 I can't put down. Books bore me, women bore me. Okay, most books bore me, most women bore me. I'm looking for a book that I have to read from cover to cover. I'm looking for a woman that I can't put down. I'm glad to say I found her. That's an old one. I need a rich girl. I need a rich girl. I need a rich girl. I need a rich girl, I need a rich girl to drive my deceased car to the unemployment line so that I can get food stamps and avoid a job. <laughs> Any takers? Right on. <laughs> I need a pill. I need a pill that will fill me up, not with envy. I need a pill that will make me feel friendly, not want to kill. I need a friend. I need a friend, just like Imani. I need a friend. I got some friends. I need a friend in these United States of isolation where even Hell's Angels are afraid to hitchhike, where thinking outside the norm could land you in jail. I need a reason to go on living, and I think my children will do. Come on, some applause for the camera, huh? I'm not getting the level of applause I desire, so I'm only going to do two more. This is called I Will Mostly Have a Smile for You. No, we'll start, but we're just trying to get more together. <laughs> Keep it going. This is called I Will Mostly Have a Smile for You. I can't predict the future. I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, but I can tell you this. I will love you if it rains or if we are poor. I will do the dishes if none of the children are around. I will sweep the floor at least once or twice a year, and I will grow tomatoes in the garden. And I will mostly have a smile for you. Right. Yeah. See, see, this woman did a, a search on MySpace. That I forget which area it was, but she looked for men within 100 miles of Georgia. And she found me. I was one of the ten, you know. 
So she went to my website and she read everything I had written in the last six years. And I mostly write about my children and my dogs and my search for a woman. And she said, uh, I'm it. You know, she decided she was it. Like, I have love and she needed love and I didn't have any money and she had money. So, you know, combine the two. And that's what I was telling Martha about. She's yeah. like, you got a woman with money? I was like, hey, man, I didn't ask for it. You know, she came knocking on my door. And, yeah, there you go. And I tried to get rid of her. You can ask me. She'll be here, you know, some Sunday or Thursday. Everybody, you know, Sundays and Thursdays when this Imani's Culture Fest happens here at Kiki's Cafe. All right, this is called Someday I Will Start the Revolution. Someday I will start the revolution. But this morning, there were cleats and a baseball uniform to bring to my son. Someday I will start the revolution. But for right now, there's cereal to buy and Nintendo games to rent. Someday I will start the revolution. But my son's sneakers are worn and he needs new clothes for the spring. Someday I will start the revolution. But I've got these student loans to pay back and these credit cards to pay back. Someday I will start the revolution. But I just got this new apartment and the cable hasn't even been put in. Someday. I will start the revolution. But right now, I'm late for work. Someday I will start the revolution, but I need new tires for my car. Huh. Someday I will start the revolution, but I want to get a master's degree in poetry first. Huh. Can you tell I need it? <laughs> Someday I will start the revolution. Hey. But this girl just walked by, and man, does she look good. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Woo!